Hi. Hi. <laughs> it's Debbie from Creatively Yours, coming from Alice's Alice. house. <laughs> um, yeah, welcome to Floss Tube 180. Wow. No, eight. no, 108, not 80. <laughs> um, if you are new, I really hope you like what you see and would like to subscribe to my channel. And if you are returning, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, we have a lot of projects to show uh, this time and between ourselves. And uh, yeah, I don't have anything to start with. So let's just begin with let's showing. Jump right in. Yeah. Yes. First off. <laughs> Yay! I fully finished Mini Gypsy Firefly by Heaven and Earth Designs. Yeah. I started this one in 2013 <laughs> and finished 13? it. 13. Really? Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> and finished it in 2020. Yeah, 2020 with uh, FC Finish Challenge 2021. Yeah, 21. 21. 2021. Yeah. So, eight years. <laughs> and this is supposed to be a quick stitch mini. 18 years. No, no. Eight. Eight years. Yeah, yeah eight yeah. years. But I finished it. Fully finished it. And I love it. Yes, it's beautiful in the black yeah. uh, frame. Yeah. Yeah. I just laced it myself. I think... Because this was a mini I, and I wasn't satisfied with the details um, in hindsight. I just fully finished it myself. Otherwise I would have had it framed, but I think it turned out fine. Yes. So. Where do you, where do you, where do you put it? In your craft room or yeah. in your living room? Uh, in your it was room. supposed to be in my living room, but right now it's still in my craft room and I just want to enjoy it every day because it's my workspace as well. So mm -hmm. yeah, uh, for now it's in my craft room and maybe it's going to be in my living room later, but not at first. Nice. So yay. Yeah. <laughs> um, let me see here, Laura. Yeah. Thank you. Brenda. Or Brenda. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brenda. Yes. Are you going to show your fully finishes? Do you have uh, other fully finishes? Not or fully finished? finished. Fully finished. Okay. Then I will show mine. Uh, this, it's been a while. There's dark hair everywhere. As um, usual. <laughs> as usual. <laughs> I fully finished this one. It's uh, The Key by Barbara Anna. No. Yeah, Anna Barbara Bar Anna. Barbara Anna. Yeah. yeah. Um, this was gifted to me by Debbie. She started it, but she didn't want to finish it. Uh, when no. she did just a, a little, a few stitches on her um, what body. It, her body, yes. And then I finished it. It was funny because um, Debbie stitches the other way around, uh, <laughs> yeah. so the you can't see. I left it like that, but uh, it doesn't was, show. No, it doesn't show. No, it's perfect. Yeah, I love and the frame. Yeah, I had this frame uh, in my stash and it's perfect for it because the, the figures here are the same as they are in her skirt. Uh, so it's it's perfect. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. I had another fully finish. <sighs> Most of my projects are big ass uh, projects. Uh, so sometimes I like to stitch something small. To have the satisfaction of uh, a finish. Yeah. I like that. So I stitched this one. Uh, the Claire. Yes. Like oh, this. so cute this one. A little gnome. A carrot gnome. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. This is so cute. Yeah, it is. It is cute. I forgot uh, to look up this in Etsy shore, uh, shop. Can I can I tell you what the shop is so yeah. you can put yeah, it, yeah, I, can I will put put it, it here? Yeah, I will put it in the description box. I forgot to look that up. And then um, I finished, fully finished, um, the 
uh, by Lanarte. Uh, I had a kit, I had two kits, uh, night and day. I finished day years ago. And um, uh, now recently, I no, not recently. It was last year, I think, I finished uh, night. Yeah, yeah. 2022? Yeah, 22. Yes, and I finally framed it. But it's on my wall, um, and I asked Debbie to put in a picture uh, of... Um, yeah. They're hanging besides one big um, heaven and earth uh, design, snow. It's called snow, and I really love it. I can I can see it from here. Yeah. But Debbie will put a picture uh, in it here. Here. It's going to be here. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, those are my fully finishes. Yes. Okay. Show some finishes. Yes, please. I have two. Let me just start with the first one. <laughs> I didn't even see it yet. This is Snooty Parrots by Barbara Anna Designs. Yes. And both Alice and me are stitching this one or did stitch this one together. Under the hashtag. I, I still am. Yeah, she still yeah. is. No. I'm not. No. Uh, <laughs> the hashtag we we used is hashtag Snooty Parrots B Day Cell. Because it was because of your birthday. Yeah. Birthday. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And uh, Julia uh, stitched with us. Julia. Yeah, Julia. Yeah. Yep. She she doesn't make she uh, doesn't make tubes no. anymore. That's uh, that's a shame. That's a, yeah. I always liked her. I really her, liked her. Uh, yeah. yeah. I will put her channel name below in the description box because I'm not sure anymore. We are so prepared. Yeah. Not. Not. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was going to stitch this entirely, but I changed my mind because that's who I am. <laughs> this is what I had. And you can see I cut off the fabric. <laughs> uh, this is just the top part and I'm going to finish the top part into a drum or something. I'm going to do something with it. But that was not my finished item. <laughs> it's this so oh, stinky cute. <laughs> it's this huge parrot. <laughs> I chose to only let me just chose to only do the parrot on the what is it called? Branch. Yeah. Yeah. I really like how this turned out. This is stitched on 40 count doubloon by Picture This Plus. Oh. And I used a conversion I did myself of Misuseda silks. So that's a finish. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> and then I have another finish. At least I call it a finish. I have been stitching on Autumn Leaves by Prairie Schooler yeah. and I was stitching the little pillow style. Which one? All of them. All of them, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Because I have a little cabinet which I will put in full little pillows. So I'm not done yet with this fabric. I stitched four of them, not five. I'm not done with the fabric. I'm going to stitch other patterns as well for that cabinet. But for this pattern, I finished it. Let me do this. Oh, I love the fabric. This is what I have. I have four little squares. Let me take you up close. I have an owl, a raven, pumpkin, and the house. And this is stitched on 40 count Aged Pumpkin by XU Design. Oh, I like it. Yeah. Nice. Really, really love this. Yeah. And I'm going to stitch other designs on this fabric mm -hmm. so I can you have put them all together. Yeah, you have plenty. Yeah. Yeah. So those were my finishes. Do you have any finishes? I do. I do. It's, it's not ironed. I didn't iron anything. Me neither. <laughs> um... This one, um, it's called uh, Baby It's Cold Outside by... Um, yeah, I finished it as well. 
oh, time I'm, ago. I am so terrible. Plum Street samplers. Nee. Nee. Of no, no. Nee. It's not Plum Street samplers. No. Uh, maybe it's called outside. Heart string sampler. Heart string sampler. Yeah. Thank you very much. So, um, I started this years ago. Um, and it's it's not big, so but I never picked it up again. Uh, so, um, at one point I said I have to finish this. Uh, and so I did. It's beautiful. Yeah, I like it. The fabric is... Um, it's not dyed by you, no. No, this one. No, no this, this one is not. It's, it's an... Um, uh, a regular Zweigart, I don't know the name, it's Mocha, Mocha or something like that? 40, 40 it's count. country Mocha? No, 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 because it's not stamped. It's uh, right. Okay. I think it's Mocha, but I'm not sure. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. So it has to be fully finished before the next winter. Uh, it's about time. Yeah. Yeah. I have this fully finished in, in front of me uh, at my desk. And you you did it in a frame or in a, frame. a pillow frame? Yeah. yeah. I, I I don't know what to do. I think I'm going to make a flat fold. Uh, oh, that's we'll try gorgeous that. as well. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, this was a little while ago. Um, uh, I finished um, um, this one. Uh, it's called Alice. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and this one is by Tralala. This one I know okay. by it. Um, the fabric <coughs> is, um, it's called Ruin, Ruins. It's, uh, and it's by uh, Barbarell Designs. Um, yeah. Her fabrics are, are also Amazing. beautiful. Yes, yeah. 40 count. I love it so yeah. much. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And then I have a very, very s small finish, like I said, just for the satisfaction of finishing something. I uh, This was a freebie by um, Lizzie Kate. Lizzie Kate. And the fabric is 32 count. Uh, I don't know if it's Swigert or something else, but it's pale green, you can you can tell, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to make a little small um, pillow using this this fabric it's it's it complements yeah 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 and i picked uh, this one i don't know exactly what i'm going to do maybe a little bow or something i don't know yet i love it but i will fully finish it i i've made it my uh, mission to um, reduce my pile of finishes <laughs> because this it's big yeah and uh, mine too and Jennifer, um, the daughter of the uh, two tall stitchers, yeah. um, she made a hashtag fully finished 2023. Uh, oh, the, that's very nice because yeah. you can see all kinds of fully finishes. Oh, that's uh, nice. I'm going to yeah. use it for my pictures. Yes. For my finishes this year. Yes. Okay. That's nice. Good to know. Yeah. <laughs> Those were my finishes. Yay. Yes. Shall oh. I start with showing some whips? Yes. Yeah. Yes, please do. Uh, where shall I start? Let's start with the big ones first. In this beautiful, gorgeous project bag by Diane yeah. of Frog and Fudge. This was my new year, new start. And by now you will have seen a video, a uh, video, uh, picture of the cover. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is Full Moon Mini. Charted by Contemporary Cross, and the artwork is by Andrea Lavery, and I really, really, really love working on this one. This is what I have so far. Let me take you up close. I did a total of 976 stitches, and I'm currently at 3.44%, and this is stitched on 25 count Wedgwood um, Lugana. One over one full cross. It's almost a shame it's full coverage because the color is beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's not showing up like it is in real life, but not not entirely. But it's beautiful, and I love love stitching this one. Yeah, yeah. And Jantina started it as well, so we don't have a hashtag for it. 
so maybe we need to, I don't know. <laughs> No, let me just don't do that. <laughs> Are you going to be the next one? Or no, no, shall no, I? you go ahead. Okay. No. Just in the laptop bag. I'm not going to show it. You just did. <laughs> yeah, I just did. <laughs> Can't help myself. <laughs> um, yeah, this one is. Uh, a pattern I'm stitching with Jemima, the rocking stitcher. Hi, Jemima. Uh. <laughs> uh, we started this in December. No, November of 2021. Really? I think. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I have a lot of full coverages, so not very much progress in this two years, almost. <laughs> Dreamer artwork by Nadia Stralpina. Charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. And this is what I have so far. I love this one. I did a total of 716 stitches. And I'm currently at 2.25%. And I stitched this on 25 count Easy Grid Lugana 1 over 1 full cross. As usual. I love the colors. I love the blue showing through. And Jemima started from the top right, mm. and she has totally different colors yeah. from mine. So fun to see how it's going to be when you get there. <laughs> Let me just put this back because I'm just going to. Shall I continue or? Yes, okay. Yes. Another laptop bag. <laughs> But she's not going to show you. No, <laughs> I'm not going to. No. No. <laughs> this is, let me see. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's always funny when a Dutch uh, person is making a floss tube. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they say, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. How do you call stop word? <laughs> In English? I don't know. I don't know. Just a word you repeatedly repeatedly say. Yeah. Um, Those colors. Yeah. Yeah. This is dark snow white. Nothing dark here, but <laughs> this is dark snow white by Pain Free Crafts. And artwork is by Barrett Biggers. And I started a hashtag on Instagram. Dark fairy tale, dark fairy tale shell. <laughs> so if you have a dark fairy tale, <laughs> uh, you can join us. A lot of you did. So Mika did. Mika did. Yeah. yeah, darling bluebell. Darling bluebell. Yeah. And several others. Mm. So blushing pink stitches joined as well. Yeah. Yeah, I love these colors. And this is, it's called dark snow white, but this is not dark at all. It's very sweet, sweet colors, flowers, feels like spring. <laughs> this is stitched on 25 count Mocha Lugana 1 over 1 full cross. And yeah, it's a beautiful pattern. Oh, and I didn't tell you this. I stitched this time 671 stitches and I'm currently at 1.40%. So only 98.60% to go. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay, everything is falling. In this beautiful project bag. This was gifted to me by Cross Stitch by Britta on Etsy. She makes project bags, as you can see. So. Where is she in America? No, oh, in Europe? Germany. Germany. Yeah. Okay. Germany. Let me see how I folded this. This is a biggie. 
Tea bedspread. <laughs> Tablecloth bedspread. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> it's big. This is Dark Jungle Temple and Tigers. So artwork. Beautiful. Yeah. No. Artwork by Chiro Marchetti. 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 Charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. Let me fold it over one more time. <laughs> Let me show you. This is what I have so far. Love these flowers. Yeah, beautiful. I did a total of um, 1044 stitches and I'm currently at 1.21%. <laughs> wow. <laughs> She yeah. is big. What what's the stitch count? Um, I don't know. It's a biggie. Let me see. Stitch count is seven hundred by five hundred. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so three hundred and fifty thousand <laughs> stitches <laughs> to go. <laughs> um, Shall I go yeah. now? Yeah. For uh, maybe we can show this one together. Oh yeah. That's nice. There I go again. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Um, in May last year, yeah, yeah, yeah 2022, we uh, we uh, as in the Stitch we um, uh, for the first time after a very long time uh, after the pandemic, uh, uh, we uh, met up. Um, we were together with um, the five of us. Uh, it's Jantina, uh, Jemima and Lydia. Mm -hmm. Hi, <laughs> girls. Hi, See girls. you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and we all started the same uh, chart. The um, port mauve butterfly. Ornament, Ornament butterfly port mauve. That's why uh, I don't make floss <laughs> And um, the funny thing is that we uh, we all started in uh, in a different place uh, in from other in the corners. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, this is mine. I oh, think, look how um, gorgeous this is! I am currently at forty-four and a little bit percent. percent uh, I almost finished. Uh, I stitch row by row, and um, I um, make sure it's not very. Um, how do you say it when you um, stitch outside the row to prevent lines um, feathering. feathering? Feathering, yeah, feathering. yeah, yeah. Yes. That's what I do. Oh man! And the butterfly is finally showing up. Yeah. This is really fun to stitch, and uh, this is Debbie's. Totally different. Yeah, the color changes. Uh, yeah. The, the more you go up, it becomes uh, more pink. Yeah. Yeah. I started in the upper middle, upper middle, <laughs> <laughs> and I worked my way to the left uh, side, and I'm turning into red right now. So, yeah. I love this pattern so much, but I really, yay! <laughs> Look at that! Yeah! Yeah, funny. I really love to see everybody's start because yeah. we are all in different places and you can see what you are going to get to stitch. That's yeah, yeah, so much fun, but I really, really love this. Yeah, me too. To see this, yeah. So, and it's it's also fun to stitch because there are um, parts that are pretty much uh, pretty uh, much confetti, but also blocks of uh, of colors. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah, it's a good mix. Yeah. 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 <coughs> okay, my next uh, whip. Um, I turned back to having uh, six whips uh, in uh, some sort of rotation. Um, I I. Changed plans many times uh, in the past few months, but I like this best. Uh, not to have too many uh, whips, and you can see some progress. Uh, yeah. Oh, so man. one of it's the gorgeous. six is uh, this one. This is uh, the modern folk embroidery cell. 
2020, I think. I'm not quite yeah, sure. I'm yeah, not I th sure either. Or is it 2021? I think 20. Okay. But I'm not completely uh, sure. <coughs> no. If it's if it's uh, another year, uh, then we will. I will put it yeah. in the. Yeah. Um, this one came out every month. There was a part, so there are twelve parts. I, the last part I finished was the seventh part. So five more to go. And you were stitching this with, with, uh, with someone else. Um, no. Um, I know uh, some people. Um, uh, Sarah, Sumi, so, Sumi, Sarah, she's yeah. stitching it too. And the, uh, I've seen it a lot of times. Uh, a lot of people stitch this, uh, but not particularly with, oh, with I, somebody. Oh, I thought. No. Okay. No. And this is stitched with silks. This right? is stitched with uh, silks by Silks for You, I think. Rouge was this. No, this was uh, wh uh, what's her name? Mrs. Sedas. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. I don't particularly like stitching with silk. Um, no, me neither. But it, it keeps on um, st it sticks sticking. to my yeah. to my fingers. Uh, Especially in the winter time. Yeah, yeah. When your hands are dry. Yeah. Yeah. That's correct. I'm going to um, to f uh, when I'm fully finished. Uh, uh, no, the plan is. <laughs> the plan is just to like uh, Joanita. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> And start again. Um, I'm going to put in my mother's name uh, here and here. And those uh, spaces are also at the top. Yep. My mother has uh, three names and her um, a family name. And in, the, um, uh, in these parts, there are four parts. And um, I have one sister and two brothers. I will put in... Our initials. So this will be a tribu tribute to my mother, who just turned ninety-three. Wow. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Great plan. Yeah. Like that too. Yeah. One more. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this one. This one is my oldest whip, and I really don't know why I um, let it linger. Um, I, I do know, because um, it's called uh, Isabelle Oefendal by Hands Across the Sea Sampler. Sampers. I love this chart. Yeah, me too. I have her sister too. This was uh, initially, um, uh, there was a, a book with uh, both of the sisters in it, uh, but it was out of print. Yeah. And later... Uh, What's her name from hands across the... Nicola? Nicola, yeah. She decided to um, to produce it again, but as two uh, separate um, uh, charts. And I have I have both of them, and I am definitely uh, intend to stitch them both. Um, I came to the part where I had to stitch this. This is satin stitch. And I was in intimidated by it so <laughs> i left it in the bag <laughs> yeah as you do <laughs> well you shouldn't because it's so beautiful yeah it is i still didn't do that sit and stitch but i picked it up again uh, uh yeah oh my god it's gorgeous can you see it yeah yeah so uh, the last time i picked it up i stitched uh this crown I stitched uh, the flowers were. Uh, I stitched it uh, until here. I stitched the rest of it. This is the end of the page, and then I did this. This goes across a uh, whole of the chart, and the little bird. <laughs> yeah, yeah. he is cute. Yeah. Oh, this is so much fun to stitch. It's so beautiful. Yeah. I can't wait. To have this finished. Uh, and on your wall. And on my wall. Yeah. And then pick up the system. But uh, I fully intend to finish it this year. Um, or at least make good progress uh, on it. Yeah. 
Oké. Oké. Your Alice bag. Yeah, I made this bag and I made it twice. Once for for me. Your first <laughs> yes, project was, bag. Yes, it was my first project bag. Yes, I didn't think I needed needed them. Now I'm addicted to project bags. <laughs> Especially uh, when they are made by Diane from Yeah, Kifarts. yeah, me too. Yeah. But we have we have a new uh, bag maker in our uh, country. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, Jantina. Jantina, uh, she's she's making and selling project bags now. Uh, yes, and, yes, yes, and beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I had a new start, and I started this one with Lydia of Lovely Stitches, one of the Stitch Kadeers, and this is the hashtag we came up with because this um, reminded us of Outlander, the TV show and the books. Uh, so the hashtag is Outlander Inspired Cell. And there was another hashtag because we... Something to do with spring. Something, yeah, something with spring, but yeah. I haven't written it down. So I'm going to put that in the description box as well. <laughs> <laughs> this was my new start, Dragonfly. I bought it off Etsy. The store is no longer available or, or closed. So... I'm sorry. And this one I can't seem to put down because it's beautiful, gorgeous. I loved every stitch thus far. And where is the rest of my needle miner? Oh, it's here. This is 32 count? This is 32 count. Yeah. <clears throat> um, This is my start on it. Let me just show you a little bit close so you can see. I am in love with these colors. This is, and this is fun as well. This fabric is 32 count Caribbean Twilight by X Ju Design. And one of the seasons of Outlander is filmed in the Caribbean. So I thought it was fitting, but look at that. I have this in Pattern Keeper, so I know what I did, <laughs> uh, but I didn't. Yeah, I did. I did a, a total of 1340 stitches and I'm currently at 13.42%. So can't wait to get back to it. Let me put it back in the bag because back oh, in well. the bag. we'll do that later. <laughs> Then I picked up another bedspread. <laughs> this is one of Jantina's bags, I think. Uh, no. No? No. Oh. This is, oh, I didn't show. This is one of the floppy bags from Diane oh, of Frog okay. & Fudge. Okay. With all the birds. I love it. And let me show you my bedspread. So beautiful. This is the Grand Library, artwork by Amy Stewart, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. This is the regular version, <laughs> because... Still a bread spread. Bed still, spread. yeah, still a bed spread, but I'm not going to do uh, supersized. <laughs> no. I love this one. Look at that. I finished up the dragon in total, and I'm going to finish up this uh, one and a half pages because uh, I'm going to go to the bottom of the shelf and then I'm going to move to the next part. I did a total of 617 stitches, not very much, and I'm currently at 2.46%, but I, I love this so much. And the needle minder is from uh, Emily of Crafty Emily. Mm -hmm. I love this. Dragon's Eye. Yeah, nice. Look at, yeah. 
stitched on 25 count Easy Grid Lugana 1 over 1 full cross. And I love to see this come to life. And then I have only one project left. And you have how many? Two. Okay. No, three. Okay. You go first then. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, the next one. My six projects is this one. Rejoice Evermore. I fell in love. I think it was a uh, market. Yeah. Uh, last market year? release last year. Yeah. Yes. Um, I didn't purchase a lot last year, but this one I fell in love with. So um, and then. And I didn't stitch it uh, until uh, Sarah, again, Sarah by uh, Somi, Sarah, um, and Joanita. Of Stitchy Things. The Stitchy Things, yes. Uh, they started uh, a cell together uh, with this uh, chart. There are a lot of people who are stitching it. And, um, and I joined them because um, there was a good reason to, uh, to start it. I really, really love it. Um, yeah. I again used um, the code for uh, um, a chart stitched on a light uh, fabric. I don't know what the name is, but um, I decided to use uh, Ruins again by Barbara um, Designs. It's gorgeous. Yeah. And this is how far I am now. Uh, um, this is almost... The bottom part is a, a very small uh, page, and then the, uh, the first big page uh, is almost uh, finished. Um, yeah. Yeah, I used the code for uh, color um, flosses, and I really love it. Um, yeah, me too. I was a little bit bummed because on the chart the birds are blue. Yeah. And the uh, fabric, no, the floss. Um, is more of a teal, yeah. gr green, green blue. Yeah, but I I had to get used to it a little bit because one of the things that attracted me uh, were the bluebirds. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm falling in love with this too. Uh, yeah, I love it. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Rejoice. Donya, Donya is snoring. Is she snoring? <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> Donya no, is no dog. wonder. She is, no, she's yeah. been she's been up all morning uh, stick glue to, uh, <laughs> glue to, to, to Debbie again. <laughs> yeah, yes, glue to yes. me, yeah. Uh, Rejoice Evermore is by Brenda Chevet. That's how you pronounce it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Okay, and then um oh, sorry, forgot to take it out of the plastic. Um the first time, I think, it was the first time when we as a Stitcheteers were together? Yeah, yeah, in Roden. 2019? 20. 20? Yeah, it was after Dutch we Mania. Met, we yeah. met in 2019. Yeah. Yes, and then we stick together with the five of us. Like glue. Yeah, like glue. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, in uh, 2020? Yeah. Really? Yeah. It was August or September 2020, what we, then we met up in Roden again after Dutch Mania. And after, uh, and after uh, a lockdown, uh, when we could yeah, go out Yeah, it was between again. lockdowns. Yeah. 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 So uh, anyway, uh, we met and um, then Debbie gifted me a present. It was for my birthday, I think. Or No, just because. Just because. Yeah. Because she's the best. Aww. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> um, she bought a chart uh, for herself. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I knew that because she told me. Yeah. <laughs> and then she said, surprise. I, I bought, bought it twice. two. <laughs> one for me, one for you. Yeah. Um, it's called uh, Die Farben der Niederlande, Delftig Blau, by Werks. Werkstad für historische Stickmuster. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, those are uh, two German ladies who uh, make this, these charts, and it's this one. Yeah, it's. Oh, I love oh, it. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I need to get back to it. 
En uh, uh, die farben der Nederlanden betekent de colors of uh, uh, the Netherlands. Ja. Ja. En... Um, is this the back? Yes, this is the back. Ja. Yeah. <laughs> this is how far I am. I'm getting so close. Ja. Yeah. Ja. Yeah. Nou, um, next month, the 13th of May... There will be a workshop for one day uh, in um, uh, the nou, the handwerk boutique in uh, Rouden, in here in the Netherlands. Um, and the workshop will be given uh, uh, um, by the two ladies uh, from this uh, design, yes. uh, the designers from this company. So I'm going to try. Very hard to finish this before the 13th of May. Yeah. Yeah. I think I can do it. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'm going to stitch on it um, until it's finished. I would I would love to bring the, the yeah. finished piece. Uh, maybe yeah. fully finished, but I don't know that. And we are using the hashtag Delft Blue Cell. We do? For this one. Yes, we do. Okay. <laughs> It's been a while. <laughs> yeah, it's, it is. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you have one more because these are plants. Uh, okay, yeah, I have one more and then I'm finished with whips. Uh, this was a new start, but also a part of my haul. Uh, because this project bag, I this was the first project bag I bought from Jantina. <laughs> and I'm not going to show you what I have started. Look at this. Beautiful. And I immediate, immediately put in the next project because it was a new start as well. I have decided I am going to use my decision wheel for my non-full coverage patterns for during the week. In the weekends, I'm going to stitch on my full coverage pieces. And during the week, I am stitching on uh, non-full coverages. So. Every weekend I turn the wheel and uh, yeah, what it says I'm going to stitch that week, weeknights. And the first time I used it, it landed on a new start, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so I was very happy about it. And I didn't iron anything. I started the fox by cottage, cottage garden samplings. Yeah. So I had cute. this for a long time, this uh, pattern. And this is my start on it. Pretty decent start. Yeah. Yeah. It stitches up really quick. And yeah, I'm using the cold four colors, which are two classic color works and the rest is DMC. Mm. And yeah. Or classic color works, gentle art, I believe. It says on the on the back. Uh, yeah, gentle, gentle art, art sampler threads. Yeah. Yes. And this is my own dyed fabric. This was supposed to be driftwood, but it turned out too dark. I left it in there too long. <laughs> so this is wet driftwood. <laughs> <laughs> and I love my start. So And that segues into plants. I just told you I am uh, using the wheel. And yeah, um, I really like that idea of stitching on something different every, we every week. So yeah. What are your plans for next month? Uh, for next month, uh, I, I keep on the f uh, stitching on the six projects I have. Uh, the six, I showed you five so far. And um, did I? Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Uh, the sixth uh, one um, is, uh, this is the third time I'm going to uh, say her name, Sarah by Sumi Sarah. She <laughs> is starting um, the 10th of April. She is starting a hashtag, uh, which of, I don't know the name. 
because I'm so well prepared. Uh, yeah. But um, <laughs> she's doing a cell um, um, and that's about kits. Uh, you can stitch on any kits you like, uh, whether it's a new start or you already uh, stitch on it. And I thought that's, I like that um, because I have quite a few kits and I started one I believe last year, in 2022, I think so. I started, um, sorry. <laughs> we are so well prepared. Yes, yeah. we are. <laughs> that's part but, of the charm, we right? Have, we have fun. That's yeah, what that's, it's that's what it's all yeah, about. Yeah. 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 I started this one. Oh, declare. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, better. That's yeah. better. Yeah. Oh, look at that little girl. Yeah, she is so sweet. Yeah, yeah. she is. Um, and it's not a big one. Um, it's called Girl with Apple. Very original. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very inspiring title. Yeah. By uh, It's a kit by Lenarte. Yeah. And I started it last year and it was a very little start. This is the tree trunk she is sitting on and her foot, one of her foot, feet. And uh, a little start of her dress. Ah, but I love it. Yeah, me too. Me too. And the Lenarte kits, they are all always... Um, the quality is a very high quality. Yeah. Uh, and they're very pleasant to stitch on. Uh, the so fabrics. The fabrics. Yeah, yes. they are. They are. Yeah. Yeah. So this is what I'm going to stitch uh, for that cell. And I have other kits, so... When I finish this one, I can pick up another one. Uh, I have kids as well, so I'm going to think about that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and one more plan. Next month is um, um, May is my birthday. And um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start at least two. Uh, I'm two starts in uh, for for my uh, in my birthday month. Uh, the first one is called Forever and Ever by uh, Cottage Garden. Samplings. Samplings. And it's this one. Oh, I love it so much. Yeah. This one uh, was gifted to me by Jemima. She finished this one. If you watch her video, sometimes you, you see it hanging in the background. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I love this one. Yeah. I think it's. Uh, I looked at the chart. It's a lot of a lot more work than you th you can, yeah. you think, but um, it doesn't matter. What's the stitch count? Because this looks not that big, but I think that's deceitful. Uh, one fifty nine by one fifty nine. Yeah, it's bigger than I thought. Yeah. 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 I don't know uh, what I'm going to stitch it on. I have to decide that. This is a little bit greenish fabric so maybe i use ruins again yeah because i love oh, that that's fabric. going to be gorgeous on that fabric i think so this one yeah i think so too yeah so that's my plan and uh, i have another plan we just uh, uh this morning agreed to uh, yes to uh, start uh, uh, another chart on my uh, because this, this is going to uh, I'm going to start with Beth from Steadfast. The Steadfast The Steadfast Stitcher. Stitcher. She, uh, she's turning 60 this year and she is uh, uh, over, the, over the year starting 60 new projects. I think she's crazy. <laughs> I <laughs> but think she's so not. much fun. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, she's going, I don't know if she starts this uh particular chart or one in this series i think and uh, i think she stitch uh, she's going to stitch another one yeah i think so i think so too but um we are going to start this uh one day before my actual birthday uh, and on my birthday <coughs> itself i'm going to start something with uh, debbie we just this morning uh, decided. Uh, decided yeah and um as you uh, i showed you this one yeah I, I, I love gnomes. They make me laugh. They make me happy. And um, so um, I and I infected uh, them. Yeah, she did. Because <laughs> <laughs> she did. Because gnomes weren't my thing, especially. But after she finished several gnomes, <laughs> they are so cute. <laughs> they are. So last week I was just, or maybe two weeks ago again, 
I was just looking on Etsy because she shared her finish of this one and I was looking on Etsy and I came across a lot of gnomes and <laughs> yeah, needless to say. <laughs> and this is not a very good picture because it didn't come out the printer as I wanted it. So I'm going to put in a picture here. This one, I fell in love immediately because foxes. <laughs> uh, yeah, she had the pattern already. I just bought it and yeah. That's what that's what we that's go, what we are happened. going to start on May 9th. Yeah. Yeah, on your yeah. birthday. Yes. Yay, another well. new start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't have a lot of extra plans um, for the upcoming month. I I'm going to stitch whatever I want and do whatever I want. And uh, yeah. I don't have any particular plan. Um, I hope the wheel says I can have another new start, but... <laughs> the wheel's not going to stop her. No, the wheel's not. No. no. If I want to, I, I will. But I bought uh, another Nomi's pattern because <laughs> she just... Yeah, she, her fault. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bought this one as well. Look at this one. I love... Blue is my favorite color, so... And I love this one. These ones. Yeah, so, they are they are big because they um, are bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh my God! Who, uh, Stitching by the shore. What's her name? Laura. Uh, Laura. No. Laura. I thought so. She is always stitching a gnome. I think she has several, at least two different ones, but this is a very small one. Yeah. Uh, but this uh, one not so much. No, they're big. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I love them and I, I don't think when I start these, I'm not sure when, but uh, I have the pattern. I don't think I'm going to... <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to stitch all three of them together. Maybe I'm going to just pick one mm -hmm. and start from there. We'll see. But, yeah. <laughs> one day. One day, someday. One day. And then I was watching Dizzy Stitcher, Darren, as you do, and uh, he showed a new pattern and I immediately gasped, <laughs> literally, and stopped the video. And, and bought it? No, not <laughs> bought it, put it in my basket. Oh yes, yes you told me. Yes. <laughs> then I watched the rest of the video and I just thought about it for one or two days and then I said, what the heck? <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> I love fantasy, I love dragons, I love these colors, so yeah, he's beautiful. this is beautiful. There was there were two versions. This one's by Pain Free Crafts, by the way, and it's called Chromatic Dragon by Gudrun Hall, I think. Um, there were two versions, a mini and a large, and I first was going for the mini, but then I looked at the mock-ups and immediately said, no, it's going to be the large. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be another bedspread as well. What's the stitch from? Um, 384 by 545. Oh, not too bad. Easy peasy. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, I, I think this will be because of all the different colors. Look at the colors. It will be fun to stitch. Uh, this, yeah, I can't wait. I this is going to be started this year. <laughs> I hope as soon as possible. So, yeah, this is gorgeous. Maybe you can leave off the background and use uh, a nice fabric for it. Uh, or. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> That's an idea. Mm -hmm. It will easily take off 20% of... Yes. Hmm. Let me think about it. <laughs> hmm. um, we mentioned it already, uh, but Jontina oh. is making project bags, so I couldn't uh, just leave it at one project bag. Um, I'm going to pick up mine too. Yeah. I'll yeah. be back. Yeah. I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> I'm just going to show you mine. 
This was a custom made bag because she didn't have um, one left anymore of this particular fabric. But she had a fabric left, so she made one for me. I love this one. And look at the personalized touch. And she included this little travel pouch, which holds my scissors and my uh, Oort jar. So cute. Thank you so much, Jantina. You are wonderful. She's wonderful anyway. Yeah. <laughs> she is. So, and um, my condition is so, <laughs> so good. Mine too. <laughs> um, she showed uh, this one together with several others and I immediately said, that's, that's mine. <laughs> I love it. The little hedgehogs. Yeah. And a very bright, colorful. You almost said eagles. <laughs> <laughs> In Dutch, a uh, hedgehog is an eagle. Yeah. Yeah. So. So if um, you're not very good in English, you say some of eagle. them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the second one, um, I had to have was this one, red chairs. Yeah. I love it. I love it. And red is your favorite. Uh, but favorite. This is yeah. what I just wanted to say. Red is my color. Yeah. Blue, blue is hers. Yeah. Red is mine. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jantina. Yeah. <laughs> beautiful, she, beautiful. Um, she was sold out in less than an hour. Less than an hour. <laughs> yeah. But I anticipated that. Yeah. Because she has made us bags before. Because yeah. this one, yeah. which we showed um, from Orna Ornament Butterfly. Yeah. She also made for us for our first meetup uh, last year, and uh, yeah, they were very well made. So I anticipated that she was going to be sold out quickly. Yeah. So now I have two project makers. Yay! I there are two project makers I buy from. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's okay. it. Yeah. I, I think don't. We're done. I think so too. I don't. Uh, an hour, okay. Very decent for very decent. for two of us. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very so decent. It was so much fun to be here again. Yeah. Because it has been uh, five months ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Too long. Yeah. But anyway, I'm here. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, very fun. You. Yeah. It yeah. was. Yeah. And I see you next time. Yeah. Yes. I will so too. So um, thank you very much for watching. Thank you, Alice, for joining me again. Happy I to. hope next one is going to be sooner than five months. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Uh, all I can say is uh, happy stitching and happy Easter. So Yes, happy Easter. Bye. Bye. <laughs>